Hey guys, welcome to our channel Code Arcade. This is Ashank David, and in this video, let's solve a error usually found in VS Code while writing a C or a C++ program. So guys, you have started learning C or C++ maybe, and you have just installed all the requirements. Like you have installed the compiler, you have installed uh, VS Code, everything is installed properly, and you are about to start programming. And as soon as you write that first line, hash include stdio.h, you get an error. Hash include error, it says. What exactly is that error? And how to resolve that? Let's talk about that in this video. So let's begin. Let me first show you what I'm talking about. Let's say I am just going to create a new folder right onto my desktop. And here I will create, a, I'll name this as demo. Let us open this folder on VS Code and let's see that error what I'm talking about. So I'll open up my VS Code. Let's go to file and let's click on to open folder. And I'll go to my desktop here and I'll select that demo folder that I have just now created. I'll click on to select folder and this will open up that demo folder which we created on desktop on VS Code. Now let's start by creating on the explorer. There's nothing here because that folder is of course empty. Let's start by creating our first file here and uh, let's name this file as demo.c. Okay. Now our text editor is opened up already and let's write our first line of code. That is usually hash include stdio.h. Okay. Or maybe if you are writing a C++ program, then you may write hash include IO string. Let's go to the next line and say void main. And as soon as you write this, after some time, you see that you get this error. This is hash include errors. Detected, it says. Please update your include path. Update your include path. Squiggles are disabled. So you get this error. So guys, what exactly is this error? All the prerequisites that you need to uh, download before you run this program is already installed. You have installed VS Code nicely. You have installed MinGW compiler also nicely. But what exactly happened here is that it is showing you an error. Guys, in this case, what happens is that your VS Code is not able to detect that MinGW compiler which you have installed into your system. If you don't know about what is MinGW and how to install MinGW. Later, I'll create a separate video of how to install MinGW. And for about this, what is MinGW? MinGW, it is a compiler that is used to uh, run the C program. So if you're on this step, probably you have already done those two steps before. But specifically talking about this particular error, to resolve this error, actually VS Code is not able to understand where your MinGW that you have installed into your system is present. Usually, it is after you have installed MinGW properly, usually MinGW is present into your C drive right here, into your MinGW, this exact folder by default. So you go to this folder and you will find this bin folder right here. So if I double click and open up this bin folder, there is one file here called as gcc.exe and g++.exe as you can see usually most of the files are translated and compiled using this gcc.exe so you need to give this path to vs code and vs code will use this to compile your file exactly this is what is happening so vs code is trying to look up this file into your system but it is not able to find it automatically so this is the place where you now need to manually give the path of this file into your VS Code. So how to do that? Let's discuss that. So let's go back to our VS Code right here. And to resolve this particular issue, first you need to go to extensions tab. And I hope so that you have already installed C or C++ extension. By now, if you are writing this code, if not, then I'll tell you that this this extension is absolutely necessary for you to install before you do anything related to C or C++ in your VS Code. So once you have installed it, it is already there. So you just have to first go to the settings of this extension. So just click onto this gear icon right here. Go to the settings. And then from the settings, you have to scroll down to one option called as C CPP default compiler path, write this particular option. 
you have this option here called as edit in settings.json. You have to just click onto this settings.json. And you can see that this particular line in this JSON file is empty. There is nothing here. That is why guys, it is not able to locate that gcc.exe right here. So to resolve this guys, we need to go to that folder wherever gcc.exe is present right here. We'll right click onto this particular file and I'll click on to copy as path. So what this will do is it will exactly copy the path of this particular file from my folder. And then we'll go back to our VS code and right in between of these double quotes, I'll paste that path. Now you see while pasting the path because the path is copied in again double quotes, we need to remove these extra pair of double quotes from both the sides, right like this. And now in just one single pair of double quotes, you have to write this, paste this path, all right. Again, it is showing you an error here because in JSON, you can't just use um, backslash for a path. This is used in Windows. For in JSON to work, you have to give double forward slash. This is called as absolute path. Now, you don't have to worry about this part. Just replace all the backslashes with double forward slash guys. And once you do this, don't forget to save your JSON file. So control plus S into your system. Just press control plus S onto your keyboard to save this JSON file. And then you can just close this setting dot JSON. Close everything that you have. And you see that this error is gone. And this is how you solve this error guys. If you are doing it in C++, this same fix will work as well in C++ program also, where you are writing hash include IO stream. So you can directly fix this particular issue like this guys. So you just have to go to the settings of that C, C++ extension and in the compiler path, you need to give the compiler path for that gcc.exe and this would resolve your issues guys. If you have liked this video guys, give us a thumbs up and uh, if you have any doubts or any problems, tell us in the comment section below. I'll try my best to clear all your doubts as much as possible and uh, that's all for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade and don't forget to press the bell icon also so that you won't miss any future updates. And that's all for this video guys. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until, take care, happy learning.